So, what's up world? This is a psychiatrist. I'm a smasher from the Utah scene. I think I've discovered new tech, because I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this before. It's, uh, it's only possible on Fountain of Dreams, and I've tested with like a lot of characters, or a decent amount of characters, like all the top tiers. So, I'm the fox. If you watch, you can see when I'm teetering on the edge. If you do a shield pivot, your shield doesn't pop up, and instead you just instantly grab edge. Like, you just fall off and grab the edge. And I'm calling it a T-drop, named after myself, because that's what people do when they discover stuff, I guess. But you can be... I think it's like the fastest way to grab edge on this stage with a lot of characters. Like, you can do it with Falcon, Fox, Falco, and... It's worked with everyone I've tested so far. I haven't tested the whole cast, but everyone except Zelda. And I think it's because Zelda has a skinny, like, collision box. But what you do, so you can, you can do it out of run as well. Like, you can see I can run and teeter, and then out of the teeter, you can just grab the edge like that. And what you do is you want to be teetering on frame zero, and then you're going to dash left, like do a shield pivot. So on frame one, you're going to be turning around. On frame two, you're going to be dashing, and on frame three is when you want your shield to pop up. And when your shield comes up, it pushes you off the edge, and you just automatically grab the edge. And it only works on Fountain. I think it's because of the the grassy lip right here. And like, I was testing it, I couldn't get it to work on Yoshi's or Battlefield or any of the uh, normal tournament stages, and I even tried testing it on stages like Peach's Castle and Ice, Icicle Mountain. And I was having a hard time, like, I don't think I could get it to work on any other stage. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the grassy lift here on Fountain. But yeah, so, I'm pretty sure it's new tech. I'm absolutely sure it's viable. It's really easy to run and teeter, and then all you do is a shield pivot. And, oh, I, I'm doing it better on this side to demonstrate. But yeah, once you do a shield pivot, you just grab the edge. And I guess in, like, really high, like pressure situations where you need to grab the edge instantly, this is probably the best way to do it on this stage because running forward and then wave dashing and wave dashing like turning around like that is really fast but it uh it's not as fast as just running straight to the ledge and then doing a shield pivot and like if I could do it perfect I could showcase it better but it's kind of hard to do for me. But all it is is a shield pivot, so I think it can be pretty easy to learn and get down. Yeah, we're, uh, we're messing it up now, but I did a bunch of perfect examples earlier. But yeah, that's, that's the T-drop. You just shield pivot and grab the edge. I mean, that's all I got to say about it. I think we also have a uh, controller input shown on the screen as well, so you can see like my, my button inputs when I do it. But yeah, try it out. Show your friends.